This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta. And since you know my guest today so well, let me first tell you about this remarkable setting. This is Swaraj Bhavan, part of the larger Anand Bhavan complex in Allahabad, the home of the Nehru Gandhi family. And my guest today, some, somebody who carries that formidable dynasty on her slender shoulders, if I can put it like that. Ms. Gandhi, welcome to Walk the Talk. I'm so Thank grateful you. to you to Thank find you. so much time. Welcome to Swaraj Bhavan. Life's changed a great deal. So let me, let me first go back to when it began. When, it, when did you first come to this place, to Anand Bhavan? I came uh, to Anand Bhavan in 1970, and that was when uh, Indira Ji gave, uh, dedicated Anand Bhavan and Swaraj Bhavan to the nation in terms that it then uh, it became a museum and it was open to the public. Uh, that was the 1970s, so I had been married for two years. I was the mother of a young baby, child, Rahul, and uh, it left a great impression on me because, um, of course, my mother-in-law, while, while she was winding up and deciding what things to leave here or to take, there were still some personal items here. She, she was describing to me and one or two friends who accompanied us uh, what what all happened in this, uh, in both these houses. You never thought when you got married to Rajiv that you were marrying into a political family. So no, politics was no, going to be part I, of your I life. Came, uh, when I came to this family and married, I was a complete anari. anari. On, <laughs> <laughs> on, what, on what was going to come. But so. when you came here in 1970, you were still very much more an Italian than an Indian at that point. You'd been here for a very, very short time. Yes, at that time uh, uh, I was uh, adjusting. I had uh, just come. I was adjusted to, to many things here, to life here, to ways, uh, to ways of thinking. Uh, basically, I was yes, and that uh, that is something which happens to every young right. bride. But frankly, I came here because I was madly in love with my husband, and he was with me. And so nothing else mattered. Right. It didn't matter what I had to face. Do you cook? No. Can you toss a pasta? <laughs> <laughs> I used to. I used to when, when my husband wasn't in politics. Right. I used to look after my family. I used to look after my mother-in-law. And she did occasionally enjoy a Western meal. So I used to... Like what? what but was, but what when I got favorites? married, I didn't know how to cook, so I had to pick up from books and recipes. So what were your mother-in-law's favorites? Um, well, uh, she did enjoy um, pasta. What else did you learn from your mother-in-law? She was a she was a tough woman. Yeah, she was. Uh, she was a very strong woman, uh, but she had a very very gentle side to her. Um, a side that very few people know. Uh, not, and uh, she, she noticed she had an eye for detail. Uh, if someone was unwell or unhappy, she would immediately notice and she would immediately do something about it, perhaps by jotting down two lines. <coughs> for instance, I remember when I got married, my mother came to to the wedding um, and she stayed for about a month and then when she left obviously that was my last <laughs> my mother was going so obviously it was uh, quite a um, sad moment for me uh, and my mother-in-law uh, sent me a little note hi Sonia this is just to tell you that we all love you and that totally melted me <laughs> and gave me uh, a lot of strength and what? I knew that I was, I was being uh, loved and cared for. <clears throat> but do you recollect, you have any recollections from her times about her responses to things that, ha that happened in India or politically uh, which showed her character to you? In Bangladesh war, do you re recollect anything? Of course, that Bangladesh time? war was a very exciting moment for all of us because we lived every moment of that crisis in our family. When Mujibur Rahman came, uh, 
uh, to Delhi right. from London. You remember there was a big reception right. at the at the airport, and uh, I, uh, you know, I made it a point. Even though I was going to deliver my other child the next day, I made it a point of being there at the airport. There was such excitement. Yes, that is, uh, I think, one of the triumphs but what of the, Mrs. Gandhi. <coughs> what was the conversation on the dining table like during the days of that war? Well, uh, mostly uh, we, we were getting reports of the atrocities of the Punjabi Pakistani army right. on, on the people of Bangladesh, on their intellectual the cruelties that uh, they were indulging in. But throughout that period, she, uh, she was very composed and calm. The and other, other turning point in her, her political career, the emergency. Yes. What side of her did you see then? And how did you and Rajiv respond to the emergency? Well, my mother, uh, mother-in-law herself, uh, after uh, she lost the election, she did herself uh, say that she, she had to rethink on that. And the very fact, the very fact that she declared the election means that she had to rethink on the emergency. Re rethink means, do you, do you think that she really thought that it was a mistake? I think she, she did think that it was uh, a mistake. I, because don't forget that at least Indira Gandhi I knew was a Democrat right. at heart, to right. the core. And mm -hmm. I think uh, circumstances compelled her to take that action. But she was never quite at ease with it. What motivated you to come into politics? You know, uh, after your husband's assassination, you had stayed out for some time. But what is it that forced you or inspired you or motivated you or told you there's no choice? Well, uh, the Congress party was going through some problems. And uh, many of the leaders, my senior colleagues, came and uh, asked me to come and help the Congress to come and participate right. in Congress activities because they felt that it would help the party to a certain extent. And I thought uh, hard about it. Uh, and there was a conflict within me because I was not ever keen to join politics. In fact, I didn't even want my husband to join politics right. because I had seen uh, my mother-in-law's life struggle, right. uh, being uh, rejected, being, uh, uh, you know, all sorts of calumnies being hurled at her. And uh, she led a life of service and a very difficult life and then she was killed.